We're going to make use of factorising to find the x-intercepts, which is to say the points where the graph of the quadratic function, which we're going to draw, cuts the x-axis. So the x-intercepts are always found when y equals 0. Now this will gradually become clear as we do more examples. So x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. This was the sort of quadratic function that you were factorising and solving last week. So we factorise it. x and x is going to be 4 and 2 plus and minus. And what we did next was to let each factor equal 0. gives us x equals 2 and x equals minus 4. That means that the x-intercepts, the places where the graph cuts the x-axis, are 2. We already know that y is 0. So 2, 0. And minus 4, 0. Now the y-intercept the graph cuts the y-axis, that's always found when x equals 0. We've done this sort of thing before at the start of the third year when we were working with a straight line. So x equals 0. Now what I'm going to do is to put x equals 0 into this equation here. So y equals 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 8. Now be careful 0 multiplied by anything is 0, so we just get the value minus 8. So the y-intercept then is 0 minus 8. Two. The third thing that we do is work out the equation of the axis of symmetry. There's a formula that we can use. X equals root 1 plus root 2 over 2. Now when I talk about roots, I mean the x-intercepts. So the roots are the x-intercepts. And we know that there's one root at and another at minus 4. So we've got minus 4 plus 2. We add the two x values together and divide by 2. That's minus 2 over 2. And that means we have an axis of symmetry with equation x equals minus 1. The next thing to do is to work out the coordinates of the turning point. Now the function that we're sketching is x squared plus 2x minus 8. So what I'm going to do next is to substitute this value here, minus 1 into this equation here. I'm going to replace each of these x's with minus 1. So y equals it's minus 1 squared plus 2 times minus 1 minus 8. Minus 1 squared is 1. I've missed out the minus here, so that's minus 2 minus 8, and that's minus 9. And if I put the x and the y together, so x is minus 1, y is minus 9. Another piece of information. Now what we want to do is to put all this information together. So there are different things to consider. We've got an x-intercept at minus 4. The diagram is not drawn to scale, but it's drawn reasonably accurately. We've got another x-intercept at 2. Now remember the x-intercepts are the points where the graph cuts the x-axis. We have a y-intercept at minus 8. Now let me just write the equation of the function again. x squared plus 2x minus 8. Um, here we have a positive x squared which means that the graph is a happy face. So what I want to do is to draw a shape like this, passing through these three points. Now it's not a difficult thing to do. Now there's one point missing, of course, and that's the point um, 
it was 1 minus, minus 1 minus 9. So in fact, there are four points to deal with, but we can do that without any problems. For a happy face graph. So here is the, here is the turning point, that's where the graph is going in one direction, and then it turns and goes in the opposite direction. Here is the y-intercept, and here is one of the x-intercepts. So we, what we have done is sketch, sketch the graph of the quadratic function. One thing I might do now is just put in the equation, the axis of symmetry. So I can now put that in as a dotted line. That's the line x equals minus 1. And that's what we want to do. Second example. First thing to do is to work out the x-intercepts. There's always a curve on y equals 0. So x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Um, x and x are going to be 3 and 1. Signs are the same and both negative. So x minus 1 equals 3. I beg your pardon, x minus 1 equals 0, and x minus 3 equals 0. And the next thing we do is we, so we'll add 1 to both sides here. x equals 1. Add 3 to both sides here, and x equals 3. Now we know that the y-coordinate of the x-intercepts is 0, so we can put down the coordinates 1, 0, and 3, 0. Next thing to do is to work out the point where the graph crosses the y-axis, the y-intercept. And that always occurs when x equals 0. So if I go to this equation here and replace x with 0, what do I get? I get y equals 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 3. And that equals 3. If I put the two points together, so I have x equals 0 and y equals 3, 0, 3. So the x of symmetry is found by adding the two roots together. Now one of the roots was at 1, and one of the roots was at 3, that's the x-intercepts, 1 and 3. We add them together, divide by 2, that gives us 4 over 2, which is 2. x equals 2 is the equation of the x of symmetry, that's to say there's a vertical line at the point where x equals 2. Next thing is to work out the turning point. Now we know that y equals minus 4x, sorry, um, x squared minus 4x plus 3. So what I'm going to do now is to substitute x equals 2 in here and in here. So we have 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3. 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 8. And that's um, minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. So we have a stationary point, a turning point rather, at 2 minus 1. The last thing we want to do is to sketch so our axes. Now remember, it's not drawn to scale, but it's drawn reasonably accurately. So here we are. Now we have an x-intercept at 1. We have an x-intercept at 3. The function is y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now this is a positive x squared, so it's a happy face. We also know there's a y-intercept at 3. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw the shape of the function and then just fill in some bits and pieces later on. It's easier to draw the shape first and then fill in some data. Remember, it's not drawn to scale, but it is drawn accurately. So here's the shape, the happy face shape, passing through the two x-intercepts. 
the y-intercept is here, and that's at 0, 3. We just calculated that there was an axis of symmetry, which is to say splitting the curve into two equal parts. The equation of that was x equals 2. And the last thing that we did was to give the coordinates of that point there. Now, I call that a turning point. It is, in fact, a minimum turning point. That's the lowest part of the function. And that was at uh, 2 minus 1.